blankets are set to become an official part of the uniform at a Greensboro high school that says it can no longer trust its heating system. The school's taken the drastic measure after its heaters failed around a dozen times over the past two winters. Tim Callanan reports. The heating at Greensboro College has broken down three times this winter. The last time was during exams last week. Really uncomfortable. You can't really work because your hands are freezing, can't really write. I run around doing a lot of uh, looking at um, switchboards and uh, trying to get power back on uh, rather than trying to improve educational outcomes, which is really my job. The switchboard's not exactly cutting edge. Blankets are always on standby. The school's council will vote tonight on making them officially part of the uniform. You send your kids to school to learn, but if they're freezing cold in the classroom, they're not going to learn very much. These are kids' learning environments, and they deserve better. The school was promised $20 million by Labor during last year's state election campaign for a complete rebuild. But when the Bayou government released its first budget, the school got a bit less than that. Uh, none. The state government has now allocated $80,000 for electrical work at the school and will undertake an energy audit to help it down the track. Dodgy heating isn't the only problem at this school. Many of the buildings are more than 50 years old and are starting to crumble. In fact, some have even started sinking into the ground. John Conway says the only real solution is rebuilding, but the state government says it might have to wait. Tim Callan and ABC News, Melbourne.